ago, I was in a cabin up in the Sierras, and I woke up in the morning, and I was cold. I defined a need. Well, I knew what results I wanted. I wanted to get warm. So the question is, what could I do about it? The next question. There are a couple of alternatives. I could go down to Starbucks, get in the car, and go down to Starbucks and have a cup of coffee. Or I could go out and build a fire. I was a good boy scout, so I knew how to do it. So I decided to build a fire. And then I did it. These four levels of purpose-driven, five levels of purpose-driven behavior have been extremely useful to us in a variety of kinds of analytical situations. We found many, many uses for it. For example, one use for it is in the area of delegation. If you've got a brand new employee, you may have to sit down with him. You have to specify the need, the results you want, tell him what to do, how to do it, and he does it. Now, if you've got a little more mature employee, all you have to do is specify the need, identify the need, specify the results, what to do. He knows how to do it. Get out of his way. Let him do it. Again, a more sophisticated all we have to do is specify, identify the needs, specify the results. They knew what, how, and do it. And if it's a level four, you even sit down and talk about negotiating the results. Now, we do this, and we use this same model for looking at delegation. You do not have to go to a four-day course on situational leadership now to handle the different levels of maturity and this kind of thing. One of the other interesting things about it is we find some managers always delegate at level one, okay? no matter how competent their people are. When you get below specifying results with competent people, you are micromanaging. So keep that in mind. Keep the little model in hand. It's very useful.